I'm going to blow this whole thing wide open. This entire thing is going to get blown wide open. Sit down, have a seat, grab some popcorn, maybe a beverage. I'm going to tell you guys how Jey Uso is going to betray Roman Reigns. Let's get it. So first off, I caught my last video. We were talking about how Jey Uso is the key to Roman Reigns losing the undisputed WWE World Heavyweight Championship. Now this past Friday on SmackDown, not a whole lot happened. Apparently everybody's all chummy. There's a ton of theories going out around there. Some say that Solo is the key. His name is literally Solo, but I don't think he's really anything more than muscle. A lot of people think that Sami Zayn should win the WWE Championship. In fact, that one old news outlet that fired a bunch of really good writers said so on their podcast. I think that the key has been since day one-ish, Jey Uso. Now, everybody has kind of fallen in line under Roman's thumb, but it all started with Jay. You know, Jay didn't want this life and he didn't want all of this. So far, he's kind of felt, you know what, I have to. I can't beat Roman one-on-one. -on -one. Clearly, he is way more powerful than I'd ever imagined, and I can't beat him one-on-one. -on -one. My brother and I can't beat him together, so how do you beat a man without your fists? You beat him with your mind, and that's where the seeds have been planted. For the last two years, Jay Uso has been planning this all along to get Roman comfortable to get to where Roman feels like he can let his guard down, that it is too easy. Now, there of course is that speculation that there are two very big opponents that Roman Reigns could face at this cup coming WrestleMania. Cody Rhodes and The Rock. Honest to God, both of them are wild cards at this point. The Rock, clearly, big mega movie star coming off of Black Adam, and then you've got Cody Rhodes coming off of a torn pack. <laughs> They're both kinda busy. It's not a guarantee that either of them are even gonna be available, regardless of who you go with, whether it's Cody Rhodes or The Rock. The fact is, Jey Uso will be not really on the best terms of Roman, and it's all gonna come down to some sort of thing with Sami Zayn. Sami is going to cause the friction between Roman and Jay, and Roman's not going to trust Jay. Well, then there's going to be a part of the match where Jay ends up coming ringside as he's done already before, as he did the last WrestleMania. That will be called out very clearly in commentary. Now, at some point during the match, Jay's gonna come out. Roman's gonna be down. The Rock or Cody is gonna be down. Jay's gonna come into the ring and potentially help Roman end this match that's been going on for what seems forever. It's been a brutal back and forth bout and Jay suddenly picks up a chair and he gets in the ring looks like he's gonna finish off Roman's opponent but he hits Roman instead and he hits him again and he screams at him two years Zeus two years hits him again beats him down to shreds finally tells him to get up finally tells him to get up super kicks him in the face goes out to the outside gets the steel steps the same steel steps that Roman held over him and he holds that steel steps up high and he hits him once this is for my family. He hits him again. This is for my brother. He hits him one more time. And this is for me. <laughs> Puts his opponent over Roman Reigns. Gets out of the ring. The referee finally comes awake. And he makes the slowest three count Los Angeles has ever heard. One, two, three. Michael Kogel's insane. Pat McAfee has an orgasm. Los Angeles finally has a um, crowd that gives a shit and the world goes wild. And then there's Jay just looking on and he's just standing there. And he's just standing there in the, in the aisleway while the entire SoFi Stadium is going nuts. Titles handed over to The Rock or to Cody. They can't believe it. They don't know what just happened. And all of a sudden they leave the ring they walk past Jay and he's still standing there. And Roman looks up and he sees Jay. And Jay's just standing there. Got you, loose. And he starts walking backwards on the ramp. And then he turns back around and he walks all the way back to the top. And as he turns, he gives that same damn smirk. And you're like, damn, that was bigger than what Seth Rollins did. It would be the most fitting ending to a two year storyline. Because again, as I said, it all started with Jay and Roman. That's how you gotta end it. And if you honestly think that Solo 
is going to be the guy who's going to screw over Roman, if you think that Sami Zayn is going to be the ultimate guy who's going to really do him in, if you think any of these other guys, if you think Paul Heyman is going to be the guy who screws it in, let me know in the comments and tell me who you think honestly is going to screw over Roman Reigns because it's going to be somebody. He's too bulletproof on his own. You can't beat him one-on-one. He's proven that. Even if you're The Rock, Roman Reigns will kick his ass. And the same thing with Cody Rhodes. I don't think Cody Rhodes could beat Roman and it be a little bit believable. There's got to be an inside job. And this whole storyline warrants it. 